Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today I have my VR headset, Oculus Quest 1, so it's not the latest and greatest. But today we are revisiting an old video. You see, one of the first videos and one of the most viewed videos on this channel is when I tried out Immersed VR on the Oculus Quest. And the idea is simple. You get your headset and you get to see three, four, five different monitors that uh, you can start working in. So for example, over here, uh, I might want to type some code. I obviously want to zoom in a bit more on this uh, on the site, but I'd be able to see the text and uh, make some edits, have Visual Studio Code running on the side, and make a PDF here. And there are some graphical glitches you're seeing here, but um, the idea is simple. You want to bring your headset with you and be able to go into a Starbucks and see and work with three different monitors or four or five or, or uh, just one. But you have your headset with you. You have uh, whatever other setup you may, have, uh, you may want. Now, Immersed VR, when I played with it, I said it wasn't ready for prime time. It was slow, it was laggy. Um, every time you kind of moved your mouse, there was a massive delay that made it very, very difficult to work with. Now, I've tried it a few other times uh, afterwards, a month, two months afterwards, and those problems still existed. But um, there was some news about Immersed VR today, which I'll come back to. But I tried it out before this video, and you can see I am very, very impressed. Now, am I saying there's no lag? Uh, no, and you can see a bit of the graphical glitches here and there. If you really focus, you can see lines that kind of show up on the screen. But ultimately, it is a much, much better experience than I remember it to be. So, the other major, major piece of news that uh, makes this much easier to stomach is that Immersed VR, Immersed VR, oh, wear this so you guys can see it, is now free. So if you check out the news, they're doing free pricing. You're not going to have to pay for Immersed VR anymore. There wasn't a prohibitively, you know, a prohibitive price tag, a hurdle for average users. So uh, not only did the software get a lot better, in my opinion, it also became free. So first of all, let's come back and see, tell you how this all works, okay? Um, if, looking around, uh, let me just find the little icon move it into one of these things. If you check out this icon, and this is not helping, um, you'll be able to see that you have Immersed Agent VR. And I don't think there's an easy way other than me leaning in for you to see. There's not a whole lot here, but you enter in your username and a code, and you connect with your Oculus Quest. Uh, I, I have to run this on Windows, Linux, Macs. I have to run this on an actual computer. And what happens is it connects with your headset. It is wireless. I have this wire to keep myself charged and also to capture the footage. But you could do this wirelessly and through the internet as well. So in theory, I suppose you can have your computer at home. Um, in practice, I don't think so either because the keyboard and mouse that I am using right now, which I can't really show you, maybe the keyboard, uh, is actually connected to a main computer. So I see this most likely as something where you have to take a laptop with you to Starbucks, but you strap this on with your laptop and you're able to go. So if you had your laptop, you'd have one screen. You'd have a VR headset, you suddenly get three or more screens. Uh, the other thing is you can adjust 
you can adjust uh, these screens. And let me see if I can uh, find my other controller. I'm sorry for the jitteriness. Um, to adjust these screens, you can move it up and down. Um, if you're into curved monitors, you're you're able to do that. You can scale it up and down, um, and you can line it up however you want. You can move it in close, which helps for visibility. You can see uh, now I can see the text, or you can push it very very far. So uh, oftentimes, I, I I would have YouTube running on the side, some music, maybe a video I've seen a thousand times while I work. Um, you might have a PDF on the side, and this one you can move in and out. I have seen uh, a number of features. Yes, no. Uh, when you log in, there were a number of features for you to kind of connect to your webcam. You can uh, maybe change the settings. I have it all blank. Uh, but really, all I care about is trying to get a workable space for me. I, I couldn't care less if there's a fireplace beside me or some world around me. I just want something good, workable uh, to, to do work in. So I think what I'm going to do is move this a bit closer, move this a bit closer, and now I see the text much clearer. Now, these are giant monitors if I was looking at it in person. Oops. But I might want to do some work. And again, with the mouse, it, it's not perfect. It is through... I think the internet, so it's not perfect, but it feels more than good enough as long as you're not, you know, doing competitive video games. I'm gonna turn down volume a little. But let's go with some lo fi hip hop. I go to sleep with it on, I wake up uh, and I look well. Right. I started incorporating and, skincare into my And I can routine. hear it through my monitors. It's not coming through my computer speakers, it's coming through. Uh, my Oculus headset. So you guys probably would be able to hear this very well. And then um, I can use Code Sculptor. And you remember the last, the closest thing to a workable space for me has been the Oculus browser. Uh, the big challenge is you can't drag and drop because you can't drag across text because it is a mobile browser meant for you to tap and touch. So your mouse really acted as a finger. You had to fold it down and, and tap and drag. Uh, in this case, you are getting the full Windows experience. I have VS Code. I have Twitch uh, running to capture this footage. Uh, you can't see, but I have my main monitor on the side. So there are a number of monitors. Uh, and you have all of the controls you could possibly need for running this properly. And of course, if you copy and you paste, everything is as if you were on a computer. So uh, overall, I am very, very impressed. And I think I'll do another follow-up video where I actually do some work, but um, moving it this close makes it very, very visible. I can read all of this text just fine. And I hope you can as well. Everything looks fine, everything runs fine, and I think Immersed VR, seeing a bit of these graphical glitches is not perfect, but it is my new favorite way of using VR to actually work. So I'll give it a bit more time, see, see how I actually do some work in front of you guys in another video, but I wanted to show you guys it's free now, and it, it's very, very workable. So when I get to play around a little bit further, I'll give you my my thoughts. But right now, I, I just don't see anything wrong with it. The only possible negative, and you can't really fault this for them, is 
uh, you'll have to bring a laptop or some sort of hardware with you when you decide to go to Starbucks and bring it to work. Um, and ultimately, the other thing is, uh, you are wearing a VR headset, you are limited by your VR headset. So it's being pointed out to me numerous times, I have an older headset, it's true. So my resolution isn't perfect, that's why I have to move the screen so close. If you had a Quest 2, if you had uh, the Steam uh, VR headset, you know, your resolution is so much sharper, you're able to see uh, all of this text a little bit better. So you'll be able to push those monitors a little bit further out. And I'm just going to grab my controller. Actually, um, I'm going to try and use my head. No, maybe not. I guess it doesn't detect that. But, um, very intuitive to push in and out. And if I had a slightly better uh, screen, I'd be able to see this text better. And, you know, the white background is a bit jarring, but I can actually still read this pretty acceptably. I think about here is the distance. So, um, if, if that were the case, uh, this is a pretty workable monitor set as well. Pretty cool. Anyways, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, I will be doing a follow-up video to show you guys the cool work done on the screen. Um, just a little bit of web dev or a bit of algorithmic uh, problem solving afterwards. Um, but check it out. If you have a VR headset, uh, immersed VR, and let me just pull up the screen again, um, Immersed VR is available on Mac and PC, and you can use it with Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2. You gotta download a computer app and an app on your Quest headset, and there are, there are still pricing, uh, there are still additional features, but all I care about is just getting three monitors on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you guys again next week.